This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Dow Component Walt Disney is trading lower by about 2% after a downgrade from Barclays. Taking a look back, the stock broke out above a five-year resistance in 2019, zoomed up to about the 150 level in November, where it topped out. It sold off to a six-year low, failing the breakout during the pandemic decline, and then recovered in a uh, two-wave rally that returned to the prior high in November of 2020. Stock broke out immediately and posted another uh, two waves of solid uh, upside action, finally topping out just above 200 in March. Well, it hasn't been good news since that time. The stock has given up all of its 2021 returns, now trading lower by about 5% since the last trading day in December. And it's come back to the 50-week moving average, which is uh, sort of aligned with the 200-day moving average. As you can see, it's been testing this 3A2 retracement uh, for like five months now, ever since May. And uh, so sort of bouncing along it and rallies have not been able to get up uh, over the uh, 190 level. Well, we're testing it once again. We're down to about 172.80 uh, or 173 this morning. So we're right down near this uh, near this red line or near this blue line at uh, 170. Uh, now, the breaking point would be right down here. Where it's about 168 where the stock uh, traded in May. We get a breakdown through that. We're going to get a, a double top uh, breakdown. Uh, with this uh, this high and this lower high, opening the door all the way to about 150 in the test of the breakout last November. Now, there's plenty of support right down in this level, and it's very doubtful this stock's going to drop through this uh, particular level unless uh, we get another type of del delta variant, which really wipes us out. So if you're looking for a buying opportunity, you probably want to wait through most of the fourth, qu fourth quarter, perhaps into the start of next year, and start taking a look down here, unless the stock finds another way of recovering off of this 50-week moving average.